Hello everyone, my name is Anne. I am an artist, a poet, and a teacher, and I am here to answer 40 different questions so you can get to know me better. Let's begin. I'm from Malaysia. Basically, Malaysia is the land of hardcore foodies. We would travel four hours just to eat a meal somewhere else in Malaysia. So, for example, people in Selangor would travel or drive all the way down to Penang to eat. That's how we roll. Currently, I am living in Tsuchiura in Ibaraki Prefecture in Japan. I've been here for about three years, but I'll be moving back to Malaysia in or around March 2021 and I'm very excited about that. I'm Pisces, and, but not everything you read in the horoscopes are true, not for me anyways. One of the biggest fears that I've got is losing the ones I love. I unhealthy think about it often. I come from a huge family. I have four other brothers and four other sisters. So all together, there are nine of us. And then of course, my mom and dad. I would change myself from a night owl to a morning person because that would save me a lot of frustration. <laughs> this year, it will be the people who are treating COVID like it is just another flu. That has been riling me up. My tough childhood, because most of my life, I wasn't able to go to school. I had to help my family sell food at the different morning and night markets in Malaysia. It taught me how difficult life can be and how I definitely don't want to go back in that kind of helpless position. I also take pride in the quality of my work, so that's another aspect that really motivates me. Which one? For art, it would be the creative process. I love that part of it. And for teaching, it would be witnessing the growth of my kids and just seeing how they overcome challenges. Uh, that just really gives me great joy. So currently I am working for a private high school in Japan. And for this job, I would say, my biggest complaint would be the extra tasks that teachers would have to do like unnecessary paperwork or um, standing outside by the gate to prohibit students from going out that gate when teachers and everybody else can go out that gate like certain unnecessary tasks so yeah I loved to read the Annie Blyton series. I love the adventures, the mystery, the mischief. I just loved it. I was on a date with my fiance and we watched Star Wars Rogue One. Oh, I had so many dreams. Uh, because when you're in a hopeless place, you always dream of happier places so my dreams of what i wanted to be kept changing i wanted to be a singer i wanted to be a marine biologist and work with um, orcas and dolphins it kept changing i had so many dreams drive a car because it is the most comfortable and hopefully we get an environmentally friendly costume, so. I have a long list, like Celine Dion, definitely. All the Disney songs. Um, what else would I... Uh, 
uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow by Judy Garland. Um, it's, it, I have a whole list on my phone, a whole list. So, <laughs> karaoke is life. Wash the dishes, definitely, hands down. Cleaning, most probably, because I don't like cleaning the bathroom. So cleaning. Ooh, banana leaf rice. No question, no competition. Banana leaf rice forever. I don't like surprises and I think that's why I don't like horror movies because of the surprise jumps and all that. Mm -mm, not a fan. Mm -mm. Watch a movie. How are you? Because if there's one thing I realized from living in Japan is that I am not a winter person. Mm -mm, no. Hmm, it depends on how much I win in this lottery. If it's like more than a million, then yeah, I would choose lottery. My fiance. Create art. Yeah, I never want to go back. Go forward, yeah, maybe. But go back. No. So I asked three of them and here is what they gotta say. The first person is Bernice. She's my childhood friend. She says, she's very straight to the point. She says articulate and genuine. And May, who is my friend in art college, she said, if Anne was a color, she'd be sunflower yellow. That's how I describe you. I say that because you're so bright, fun, and out there. It's heads will turn when you're in the room. So I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna cry. Now, Christina, who is my best friend in Japan, she wrote a whole essay. So here's what she says Workaholic, fragile, hardworking, passionate, scared of new things, but also loves new things, cares for others more than herself. Foodie. All true. That's why you is my best friend. Happily married with one kid and hopefully another on the way. And successful in my art career. That's where I see myself in five years. Fingers crossed. Two and a half days. I don't think I reached three days but yeah I think two and a half days and it was because I was finishing my last or uh, final collection for fashion school so yeah that was the longest I've gone without sleep moving to Japan to live and work here would be the most scariest and most exhilarating thing I've ever done It depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm a really like clean person. I clean up everything. But sometimes I'm just, I just couldn't be bothered. I think on average, I would say 30 minutes to shower, change into clothes, gather your things and bolt out the door. 30 minutes. I've done it in 15 minutes as well. So, but yeah, on average, 30 minutes. In Malaysia, KFC. In Japan, I would consider sushi as fast food. So in Japan, I would write the name somewhere on this screen. It's hard to choose one. I love Lord of the Rings. I love Harry Potter. I love Star Wars. Like those are my go-to movie marathon movies. But if I had to choose one, 
Lord of the Rings, I think. Oh, I don't know. It's so difficult. None. I'm an ambivert. I'm both. In Malaysia, I loved going to the gym because I love the variety of equipment and machines. So I loved going to the gym. But in Japan, if you don't speak Japanese, it's very difficult or impossible for you to get, um, for them to allow you to be a member at any gym. Well, not in my area anyway. I went to two different gyms and both of them they didn't allow me to sign up so in Japan I would be jogging mainly to get fit my fiance food and whether I am making the most out of life my first job was as a fashion buyer for a retail company that brought in surfing brands like um, Roxy and Quicksilver the one thing I would never do again would be carving pumpkins because the first time I tried it, it was in Japan. Uh, it was because I was working for an Eikaiwa in Tomioka in Gunma Prefecture and what the what management did was they left, they used the pumpkin as decorations first. So it has been out there for like two weeks or a month or something like that and for party that we have with uh, the students and parents um, we had to carve out the pumpkins uh, for that party and it all of them were rotting it was disgusting it was traumatic i would never carve a pumpkin ever again in my life like my first experience was carving rotten pumpkins and I ain't touching it ever again. If I had a warning label, um, it would be warning, loud when excited. Yeah. <laughs> Myself, because being honest with yourself is healthy. Myself. So that's all for today. If you have any more questions, just leave it in the comment section and I will maybe do another vlog or just answer them directly. We shall see. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care, stay safe and happy. Bye!